This is absolutely intense. I've got goosebumps all over me watching this. Man, I don't know what to say. I've just never seen anything like this. Warning. The warning on this video has been removed and this video is highly educational. Okay, this is a bit crazy. Um, I think that's a stick spider. It's got a bit close to the St. Andrew's Cross. The St. Andrew's Cross has just retreated there. Uh, back to the center. I think that's a net casting spider. I've actually totally forgotten its, um, its real name. Anyway, I just call them a stick spider. As far as I knew, I thought these spiders got on okay because, well, they've been living in harmony in the same area. Uh, curious to see one in the other one's web. I'll tell you what, the St. Andrew's Cross doesn't like the fact that it's got, oh, I'll call it a six spider, hanging about in the web. Crockies, it's getting very ugly. Very ugly. The St. Andrew's Cross has actually just put a whole stack of web around that stick spider. Man, it's starting to shake the web violently. This is absolutely intense. I've got goosebumps all over me watching this. Man. I remember... Oh, I don't know what to say. I've just never seen anything like this. Woo, be careful. Those St. Andrew's Cross spiders, man, they... They're an awesome spider. I, I really um, took them for granted in the garden, but look at this here. I'd say that stick spider's history. It happens in pauses. There's a pause moment at the moment. Uh, yes, uh, stick spider, uh, you've got web all over you. Uh, it might be very wise to hang out like a stick and try not, or well, try to be, you know, th non threatening, because I think the St. Andrew's Cross spider sees you as a threat. Now I'm seeing that bouncing of the web. I remember seeing that when I saw when the male and female spiders were together without using that other word. And if I go down here, I tell you what, it doesn't look good at all, that uh, stick spider. Unless it's just playing out that it's a stick, it's not looking good at all for that spider there. Well, what's got me a bit confused is why the stick spider drifted up to that area there where it was living. It was actually living down in this section down here, had its own little zone down here, uh, but it's decided to come up to the, into the St. Andrew's Cross's realm, and it may have paid the penalty for doing so. This is about 15 minutes later, and uh, I'd probably be giving this to the St. Andrew's Cross because I haven't seen the stick spider uh, really move from its last position. I think that St. Andrew's Cross has got the advantage on this. And one of these things, there's a lot of standoff and waiting, nothing seems to happen and it bounces into action almost from nothing. Well, I'm seeing more action from the St. Andrew's Cross and no action from the stick spider. I'd say it's um, just a matter of time, to be honest here. Part of the St. Andrew's Cross web has collapsed. I'm seeing all the right moves coming from the St. Andrew's Cross and uh, basically nothing from the stick. I really think the St. Andrew's Cross has got this one in the bag. I might be totally wrong. The stick spider might be just playing out as a stick. But, um, hey, every spider's got to eat. It looks like Thbite Eve like to eat Thbite Eve. I'm just, whoa, I'm just watching. Oh, my goodness. Oh, the St. Andrew's Cross has just done the bolt up north there. And the stick spider, man, that came out of nowhere. The stick spider, it's really just all caught up on the web. And I think if you're in that in that situation, I don't think there's much hope for you. Watch out, St. Andrew's Cross is headed down south again. Yes, it's playing a bit of uh, a game there. It's tasting its little feet. Now, I've forgotten what that really means. I remember people on the Redback Spider Tank spoke about that. I, oh, man, you just don't know what the spider's going to do. It's one of those things you want to look away, but you can't look away because you don't know what's going to happen next. And the stick is still acting like a stick. Yeah, the St. Andrew's Cross still in that, I call it, commanding position there. Uh, just above the thick thbiter. Uh, but there's flashes of, of activity here that sort of happen from nothing. It's all very quiet and seemingly nothing happens and then bang, something jumps on top of something else. And again, the St. Andrew's Cross is right down there touching that stick spider. It's really, really inquisitive about what's going on here. But it's a bit standoffish as well. Maybe acting like a stick confuses that St. Andrew's Cross. I think it's going to take a little bit of time to resolve here. I'll go away for a while, let these spiders do what they do, 
And who knows, a stick spider in being like a stick might be the perfect deterrent in getting away from the St. Andrew's Cross. But if that St. Andrew's Cross feels like it's got an easy meal, I think thick spider of history. Okay, there's a massive sale, mate, going on at the moment. Could go on for a long period of time. So I'll put a camera on here so when that sale, mate, breaks, hopefully I'll capture the action. Okay, we're going to do something that I don't often do on YouTube, and that is a cliffhanger video. I know lots of spider experts look at my spider videos and they can tell me what's going to happen from here on. How well do you know your spiders? Is the stick spider in playing out like a stick going to win here? Or is the St. Andrew's cross spider going to weave some web magic and snare that stick spider as a wonderful dinner? So if you can lay a comment on the video, you can tell me an outcome. You may be creative in what you say, but what I capture on video from this point on gets a little bit complicated. So yes, who is going to have who for dinner here? Please let me know.